Hi guys, Rich Bassini from RJBassini.com. Come to you today to introduce you to some new items I picked up. Nothing, nothing too fancy, nothing great, but I just thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, I haven't been doing the, uh, you know, uh, making videos recently because I've been kind of busy with other stuff, doing some things around the house as well. And uh, not that I was taking time off, but um, I do, you know, like I said, I do have uh, other chores to do around here, so to speak. Uh, I do devote every single day to eBay. I check my emails, I check out the feedbacks, I check out questions that buyers, you know, that, uh, that buyers may have um, because sometimes I get questions from them inquiring about certain information that I might have left out either in a description or in the video description as well. So that's probably why you haven't, you know, seen me on uh, doing any uh, new videos recently. But anyway, I don't want to talk about that too much. Let me tell you what I got here. Uh, I picked up some stuff here. I picked this up. I don't know if you guys would be interested in it. Um, it's a hardcover book, you know. It's in pretty clean condition, okay. And uh, <laughs> if you look at some of the topics on here, it's like kind of funny, you know. Uh, the, the information they got there but uh, you can see on the back of the cover what they have here okay zooming in a little um, then you got over here uh, living on the East Coast in New York what they say it, it, can only, it can only happen in New York right I mean look at look at the, the, top, the, the headline here I mean I don't remember all of these stories to be honest with you um, very vague you know very vague I, I remember them I don't you know I don't know what when they actually date back when they you know when all these incidents take place. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you that there. The uh, book is pretty clean, though. I mean, if you look at it, it's a pretty clean condition. It really is prestige. You know, pages are nice and clean uh, from what I could see here. Um, they might have a little... I don't know what these are, if they're purposely there like that. So over here. I don't know if those are pencil marks. I really don't know. Um, I'm not going to try to erase them or anything like that. I think that's the way they came. I mean, that's the way the book came. Uh, the publication date on this here, well, it says over here, copyright, the copyright says 2007. Okay, so um, I guess they, I guess the company who took this, you know, took care of this here, uh, this is with Library of Congress, Catalog, Public Data, whatever. Um, yeah, Papa Collins books may have purchased it. I don't know. Anyway, they got some stuff over here, the history of the New York Post, they talk about that. And um, I don't really, I don't want to handle too much of the pages because I said, you know, they get the oils from your hands. I mean, I wash my hands before I always touch the books. Uh, like you can see here, like some of the stuff they have, they kind of like, you know, made it cryptic. They made it small enough. Um, <laughs> who is this nut? <laughs> and Ido's Ace is terrible too. You can see they got a lot of stuff in here though, you know. Uh, they even, I think they had some kind of ads in here from that time. I don't know. Again, they probably have it in here when it happened. Okay, you can see here, all right, all crazy things, right? Like I said, New York, you never know what's going to happen. I love New York. I'm a native New Yorker, by the way. Um, it's like I said, I mean, this is kind of like, you know, you look at stuff like this. This is depressing. I mean, I don't know. Some people may want a book like this to um, add to their collections, or, you know, maybe you're just a person that likes, you know, you know, check these things out you know All right, look at this here look at this stuff they have here the pages are really in nice condition to be honest with you they really are you know so anyway we got that going on here nice hardcover book clean in around you can see around the edges nice and clean no folds um, I did go through the page I just fl fanned through it really quick the pages are nice and crisp, you know what I mean? Like they, not like they don't have like a lot of bend marks in them and stuff like that, you know. Um, when I do, I'm gonna probably do a, a little thing about it, uh, a video on this here. I know it sounds crazy, but I just want to go over it like really quick with the people and just, you know, maybe go through page by page, just show them what they're getting ahead of time. You know, this way you know what you, you know, you know what what to expect if you get this book. It's in really good condition, though. You know, it really is. It's really in good condition. And uh, if you're interested in that, that'll be going up. I got these here. Um, let me just put it back in its clip here. Okay, these here are these. Uh, I guess these little. I don't like Walkmans, but Panasonic with them here. I like guess you strap them to your arm. Okay, 
And this one here, when it lights up, it's got a nice, when you hit the button on here, it comes up like an orange. I'm going to do demos on these here. I'm going to do them together. I'm not going to do them separate. I'm going to do them together because they're in the same type of category. And uh, I'm including with these here. Um, not that it matters or not, but I thought maybe people might want to know. I'm including with these here. These batteries going all over the place. Uh, brand new earbuds with them. So when you get one, when you buy one, you get this here with it. So each, each one's going to get... An earbud with it. Okay, so uh, that's what you get with it. Okay, brand new for these. Now, now these ain't these ain't brand new. These are pre-owned, but as you can see, these are new. Okay, so those go with that. Let's push these to the side. I set the two photos, take pictures of these things, and put them up. Um, I also picked up this here. Uh, it seems like people seem to like these here, the Sony Walkman. Now, again, the video doesn't always show everything, unfortunately, folks. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm pointing this out to you so you know ahead of time. The back cover here is, it's not too bad. It's pretty clean. Might have to be a little, I might use a little more cleanser, cleanser over here to get that out. It's like a little mark there. I don't know if it's a pen, pen mark, ink mark. You know, I got I to gotta have to use probably a little more cleanser on it to uh, clean up really good. Uh, but here, now the face, looking at it this close, the face on it is pretty clean. It's like no scratches on it. Not that I could see here. I mean, I wear glasses, but it doesn't look like there's any scratches on it. So this is a pretty clean face on here. Here's all your function buttons here. Okay, I will do a video on this one. Okay. I will do a video. Uh, there's no AC adapter that comes with it, folks, just to let you know. Um, this here you, you, is battery driven. It takes two AA batteries uh, that are not included, of course. And... Uh, Sony's are pretty good. I like Sony's. Um, if you watched all my other videos, I always tell you like my two favorite uh, electronics is Sony and Panasonic. And um, you know, this is this is the, this is the product I like. That's why I always shoot for these type of things here. This is where you put your batteries, of course. But I'm going to do a video on this here. Um, before I do it, I always test it prior because I'm not going to. I've done that once before. <laughs> I done a video. Uh, I, I took it for granted. I mean, the batteries in there powered up and stuff like that. And then when I went to go play it. Needless to say, the thing wasn't working. So with that in mind, I said, you know what? I thought it because to me it had me you know, fooled that it looked like it, were, it was working, but it wasn't working. So I had to redo that video, take it out, and tell them person that it's going to be sold for parts. And that's what I think it's got in, the, in my description. Not this one, but there are, I think, two in it I'm, I'm putting there selling for parts. I'm hoping this one's going to work. You know, and this way I have to sell this for parts. I can sell it for as new. And also, I'm including these that uh, I picked up. These are new, uh, as far as I know. They've never been used. Uh, looking at the ear pieces here, uh, you know, I always tell sometimes too when something's really new, when it looks new too, it's the way it was folded up and the way it looks here. It's got that that like un, un and it, and it hasn't been unraveled. You see, uh, it's got these little things I said, little dogs. <laughs> That's but. This is what's going to be included with this, okay? So these are new earbuds, okay, that are going with it. Um, I try to pick up headsets sometimes, but, you know, I don't know if sometimes people like the headsets. They might not want to walk around headsets. But anyway, just to give you a heads up on this one here, I, I'm going off course here. Um, there are scratches along here, scuff marks, little fade marks on here. Of course, it, it, depending if it works good, it, should, it doesn't affect you know, the playing, of course. Um, the inside is clean. As you can see, it is clean in there. But again, when I test it out, we'll we'll see how it goes in the video. All right. But um, if you are the lucky bidder of this here, if you do buy it, there are scuff marks on the on the silver part here. Uh, there's nothing really along here. Maybe a little scuff mark out here, but the the silver part it does have scuff marks on it. But it, overall, it's it's con clean condition. It's pretty clean condition overall, outside of the little scratch, you know, scuff marks and some scratch marks here. Okay. But I will be doing a demo with that. And again. These earbuds come with this here, and that's what that's going. I try to pair up uh, pair earbud, uh, earbuds when I'm selling electronics. Not all the time I can, but for the most part, I always try to make that part of the uh, package plan. I also picked up this here. Now I'm not sure if this plugs into an iPad or an iPhone. Yeah, no, no, I definitely not an iPhone. Probably it's an iPad, but it's an adapter. It's an Apple adapter, a USB, right? I believe it is, unless the FireWire type. No, I don't think this is a USB. No, this is a special adapter. This looks like, oh, you know what this looks like, folks? A FireWire cable connector. But anyway, 
it's paired up with this. So what it, this goes with it. It's not like I'm going to sell this separate and this separate. This, when I picked it up, it was paired up. So I'm not sure exactly if this is for an iPod or an iPad to connect the part. That's the, the part that's got me thrown off here. Okay, I don't know what this is here. And this pops out like that. As you can see, it pops out. And it's an Apple product. See the logo there without the glare. Okay. Oh, you can see it on the cable too. It's Apple. Okay. So, um, again, I have to look this up. I got to do research on it. I don't know what they sell for. I don't know. I picked it up because I said Apple is a good item to have. Okay. Um, I also picked up this here. I'm not sure when this came out. Uh, this is 2015 Crazy Arts All Rights Reserve. Um, I've been seeing like different things, like uh, people saying they have these here from the, they call it vintage, but this this is definitely not vintage, not from that not with that there date on it. Um, I'm not gonna sell this for vintage. Uh, it's a peanuts snow cone machine, and uh, it's pretty clean. Comes in a box. Okay, um, I'm just gonna put the thing down here. Just take it out. And see, I didn't really get a chance to look at it when I was in the store. So let's see what we got here. This is something for both of us. I mean. I gave it a quick look, but I didn't look thoroughly because, you know, there's people walking around and stuff like that. And sometimes, I don't know if the store people like that there, the employees like to take stuff out because I don't they think you're taking parts out of it and so on and so forth. But let's see what we got here because I didn't get a real good chance to look at it. Oop, I don't know if that's a fault. Well, let's see what we got over here. Oh, someone left a little thing there. I love you. Isn't that nice? Okay. I don't think that's part of it. I think someone just must have thrown it in there. <laughs> Okay, so you got the crank handle, all right, you got the Snoopy dog, all right. I see, you know, folks, I see these things being sold separate, you know. This has to be cleaned up. I didn't get a chance to clean it, but this has to be cleaned up. Yeah, I seen, I seen these on eBay. People are selling just the dog, the little Snoopy. I guess the, uh, maybe theirs got broken or maybe got lost, I don't know. It comes with two little snow cups, okay. Got the handle. It's got this. I guess is where you put your uh, your flavored uh, color in there. I guess like a syrup or whatever you put in there to, you know, dress them up. So you got your cups. Let me take these out before they go flopping over. All right. Let's see what else we got here. All right. That's the thing there. I'll put this over here. I guess this here. I'm not really sure. It does get instructions. It looks like someone might have had an accident with it at one point. Um, Oh, good. This is what I wanted to make sure. See, sometimes if you don't, it does have the thing in there. See, it does have that thing. Without that, you ain't making no snow cones. Oh, okay, that's how it comes out. Because I say, somehow, somewhere along the way, you should be able to clean this. Although, I don't know. It doesn't look like it comes out here either. Um, I don't think it comes out on that side either. Um, I don't know how you would clean that, to be honest with you. This needs to be cleaned up, okay? So, I'm not sure what this thing does. Again, I have to look them up. Um, I guess this would go like this. I don't know. It's a good question. That is a good question, folks. I would think this connects somehow in here. I hope there's not anything missing. You know, that's the thing. When you buy these things, you always hope that it's, not, that it's not, nothing's going to be missing from it. Well, it's got to be in the back then because I don't think you're going to put it on. I don't think it works that way. I think you got to put it on here somewhere in the back. Jeez, I hope this ain't... I hope there's nothing wrong with it. I don't know. Well, maybe that's how it goes. Okay, I guess when you're not in use, you take it out like that. I would think. Oop. You gotta be careful you don't cut your fingers on it. And I guess you would turn it this way, and, you know, this guy goes in here, like this here. I don't want to do it because then it'll grind up the uh, bottom of this here. But that's how that would go. Yeah. And then you would make your snow cone come over here. You put your cup over here, like that. I'm not sure what this thing does. Again, you got instructions with it. Um, it's a clamp. I guess you clamp it down somewhere. And I guess this here connects somehow. It probably clamps on the table or something. Like that, I think. And then you would put this over here somewhere. I'm not really sure. Well, you know what? Whoever gets it, they'll take care of that there. But I wanted to make sure that the little shovel came out, the scoop shovel. So you got that there. Um, and that's how that would go. It connects like that. And, you know, it's uh, the snow cone. I don't know. I, I, I sell uh, peanut stuff. Um, once in a while, I come across certain things. And uh, I guess that's a lock to keep it from getting coming out. Just be careful when you're doing this so you don't cut your hands on that. Whatever. So so every pretty much everything is intact with this here. Um, 
I don't want to take too much of your time. Like I said, I always say that there and I end up running into it. So you know what I'm going to do for now? I'm just going to put this over here. I'm going to put everything back because I got to clean it up anyway. But uh, so that's what we got going on here. We got the uh, Snoopy uh, snow cone machine, and I'm going to put all the stuff over here. Um, I don't know what this is all about. This is probably the thing we have on it. So we'll take that. Got instructions. How to care for it. You get your little Snoopy doll thing here. I'll put this over here for the time being. Okay. And last but not least, oh, I gotta put the cups there so I don't use those here. Not that I was gonna probably use them. Oh, I like them. Anyway, and then we got this over here. Sometimes people, you know what I, you know what I like, I, what I like about this here. It's an all-in-one. It's your alarm clock, and it's a phone. Um, again, I gotta test it out. This is pretty clean, though. I mean, look at it there. It's nice. Uh, it tells you where it's got the features on here. Caller ID, clock, radio, telephone. It's by Con Air. Okay. And I'm going to do a demo on this here. Okay. And here's all your little settings over here. you got your volume, high, low, AM, FM, dim, hold, on and off, music, uh, music and alarm. Um, you got your snooze button over here. Right here, snooze and alarm. Uh, and then you got some more features. Uh, minute, you get your minute, time, and hour here to set it. It's a nice phone, it really is. It's and it's all convenient, you know. If you're a person that's got very tight space, and you don't have enough, you know, like uh, you want to save, you know, it's like a space saver, so to speak. It's got other features. It's got other buttons in here. Uh, contrast, callback, review, erase. It's got some other stuff in there. I don't know if you can see it right there, folks. There you go. See. But that's what you got. And they got, I don't know, look, I, I think that's the way the company put it. It looks like there's something behind it. I don't want to take it off. Uh, I guess they left it there. They prominently left it there so you could see that's adjustable. Well, you don't really got that much of an adjustment. It just goes up and down, pivots a little. Okay. Here is your tuning button. And again, it's an AM and FM clock radio. Uh, really, it's nice and clean. It's in pretty clean condition considering. I don't know the age. It looks like on the bottom it's missing those little rubber pods there. Okay, it only goes over here anyway. These two, there's nothing else over here. Here's where you put a nine volt battery backup. Okay, that's where that goes. Um, I don't think these things pop out. I don't know. I'm not gonna play around with it. Uh, if you're the lucky buyer, you could, you know, play around with it. There's no, um, with this here, there's no instructions with it. Is you know, it doesn't come with the original packaging. Of course, it's pre-owned, but it's it's pretty clean though. And I'm gonna do a separate demo on this as well. You know. Uh, to show the people, all the potential buyers, what you're getting, and if it, you know, how it works. Um, of course, I gotta test it myself to make sure it does work. Um, I had that, you know, I had that incident once with one of the CD plays. So I don't want you to think, oh, this guy sells stuff. That's why I do the videos live. Um, that was a fluky thing. I thought for some reason, you know, what it is. I, I put the batteries in there, and when I put them in, I seen the thing spinning around. I said, oh, this works. So let me just do a live demo. And when I did that with the uh, the tape, the CD player, I think it was the Sony, the Sony one, I think. And uh, I seen it was like it wasn't working properly. So I just went through all of that, going through the whole thing about describing it and stuff like that. And then when I got to that part, I said, oh, boy. Click. I had to stop the button, pause it, and, you know, redo it all over again. So from something that was going to be sold as a working item, now it's going to be sold for parts not working. Although, maybe somebody can fix it. Maybe it's something minor. I don't know. I don't play around. I don't take these things apart to try to make a sale. I tell, like I said, this is the first time coming here. Um, again, you know, I do these videos, these demo videos, intros, and sneak peek videos to let the potential buyer know what they're getting as to whether it works or not, the condition of the item, if it's got scratches or it's got any flaws on it, if it's missing a part. Uh, if it's if it's something that's like a, a metal type of a vodge, it's got things, dents, or scratches in it. I, I give it the whole I give it the whole nine yards. Um, that's why, like I said, that's why I'm doing. That's why I do these demo videos. Um, it also lets the potential buyer you know too is what you're getting. I mean, um, if I was to just throw this there, turn it on, and you see, it, I snap a picture of it with the LED display. So you say, okay, it works, it powers on, but that's all it might do. It might just power on. Uh, maybe the features don't work on it. You know, maybe the phone, like when this guy, I'm, I'm saying, I'm just using this as an example. Maybe this phone don't work. Maybe it, maybe it just a clock works or vice versa. Maybe the phone works and the clock don't work, you know? So I do these videos to give the potential buyers and let them know, you know, a heads up type of thing. 
to let them know, hey, if you're getting it, if you're seeing it working here live, it should work at your place of residence live as well, whatever it may be, okay? Um, I'll give you an example. I sold uh, an army helmet, okay? Now, the helmet's me it's metal, okay? You could probably look when I sold listings there. You'll see it if you see the picture there. Um, and it had a dent in it, and I, I seen it, and I pointed out in the video. I think I did the video on it. Uh, and I definitely put in a description that it has a thing on it. You could see it, you know. That's why I took a picture of it where you could see the dent in it. But just to give you a little heads up on how I packaged it, um, I wrapped it around. With, I put First, I put it in plastic. I wrapped up in plastic. I put cardboard around it. Around, I went to, with cardboard went around it and the sides. I put the packing material in there, in the bottom of the box. I packed it all around. And on top, I put a piece of cardboard on there, I believe. I think I put a piece of cardboard in, if I'm not mistaken. I know one of them I did. I know, I'm less than thinking of another one, but I know it definitely was wrapped in the cardboard. And uh, I packaged it up really good. Now you say, it's a metal helmet. How damaged could it be? You know, I mean, how, how could you damage it? You never know. I mean, it could hit a sharp object. If it, if it falls off a mailman's truck, you know, if, if you don't have it properly packaged, it can get more dings or scratches in it. I mean, it does, the thing wasn't like perfect condition. Like I said, it had a dent in it. And I, I, that's how I sold it. I told the person it has a dent in it. And, um, but that's what I do. I mean, even for something like that, you say you don't really need it. You could just probably put it in a bag. You don't have to put the cardboard around it, protect it, put it in a, in a plastic bag, put the uh, packing around it, and send it off. But I like to go that little extra step. Um, if you look at some of my reviews, I'm not saying look at all of them. I don't have that much anyway, that many reviews. I'm not like a top, top seller that's got 20, 30, 40,000 items I sold already. But if you look at some of the, the feedback scores, uh, feedback uh, comments, they like the way I package the stuff. Excellent packaging, good packaging, you know, arrive fast, this, that, and the other thing. And, you know, I'm not tooting my horn here. I'm just trying to tell you, you know, uh, how I package stuff. But, um, yeah, I, I like to go the extra mile with the packaging. Uh, I always say, in some cases, it's better to overpack than underpack because, in some cases, I was listening on, uh, I think somebody wrote it on my uh, Facebook page uh, for, on the eBay Top Rated Sellers uh, group. Uh, we talk about packaging and 9 minute response to I reply to a comment and uh, in there I said something to the effect like uh, I'd rather overpack than underpack and somebody say came back with something said uh, I'll have to disagree with you there as far as overpacking. I don't know I didn't I didn't rebuttal with the person. I don't know what the person you know what, the, what that guy that person's issue was uh, me that's the way I do it okay. Now, I know people were saying, like, if you listen to eBay Radio, um, I heard a couple of comments where people don't like the peanuts. If you put the peanuts in there, the buyer gets, he's got the peanuts all over the place. Look, you either want the thing to arrive at your destination in one piece, or you want it to arrive in pieces. That's up to you. I mean, me, I like to overpack. So, if anybody is the lucky bidder of this, this uh, clock radio phone here, um, it's going to be wrapped up in plastic. It's going to be probably bubble wrapped or whatever. Uh, maybe styrofoam around it, whatever, whatever materials I could use to make it, to, you know, pack it up to make it sh safe and secure. It's going to get to you in one piece, and as I always say, not pieces. So um, that's what we got going on here, folks. Um, that's basically it. I don't really have much stuff on here right now to pick up. I picked up a few items here and there. I don't have much more to uh, pick up. I'm going to put a list up. I had to take photos of these things, and uh, like I said, then I got to do the uh, demo videos on some of them. Not everything. I might. Well, actually, I don't know. Nah, I don't think I'm going to do demo videos on certain things. I was going to say with the uh, receptacle, the book. I don't know. I got to see. I don't. I got to see. You know. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. Um, it's just the first time to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Rich Bassine from RJBassine.com. Uh, I'd love to have you as a subscriber if you like what I do with these videos. Uh, this is uh, basically a sneak peek video, as I always call them. Uh, it, the reason why I call it sneak peek is because I do the videos, I talk about the item first to give you a heads up as far as like, you know, what's going to be going, you know, going to be displayed on eBay, or I should say listed on eBay. And then um, if you are interested in these items, you could put me on your uh, favorites list or watch list, whatever. And then uh, when it gets listed, you'll probably get a notification that that item or items that you've seen or have seen, you know, and you may be interested in, uh, you might want to, um, you know, check it out. But basically, that's all. Uh, that's the reason why I do these videos, and I don't always do eBay videos too. 
I mean, I cover other topics sometimes. Um, I'm going to be doing another video after this here uh, in regards to um, an experience I had with eBay, which is a good, it's, it's good, it's going to be a good video. So uh, I just wanted to share that with you. That'll be coming up next. But uh, that's it. So if you like what I do here, folks, if you want to give it a thumbs up, that's be great. If not, that's fine too. But thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate you checking out my sneak peek video. And today is uh, Monday. It's 4:10. Uh, that's it. Is here 4:10, 2017. And right now on the East Coast, it's 2:19 p.m. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.